Freaks, welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hall. This is a new series on the channel where I visit retail stores and local game stores in search for Yu-Gi-Oh! products new and old. I will spend a certain amount of money in that store on the available Yu-Gi-Oh! products they have. We will open all the Yu-Gi-Oh! packs and see if we can profit more than what I spent. If I can manage to make back even one penny more than what I spent, I will give away a Visa gift card to three lucky subscribers. So you freaks can also try this challenge on your own. But wait, there is also one last twist. If we do win, the amount of money I spend next episode will increase. But if I lose, the amount I spend next episode will decrease. Since I lost last episode, we decreased the amount from $300 to $200 that I spent at GameStop. Now, let's get right into this. Now that you got through the intro, I can't wait to open these products from GameStop. Hopefully we can do better at GameStop than we did at Toys R Us. But remember freaks, if you want to enter this prizing, a chance to win that gift card, if we manage to pass $200 on the profit scale, all you have to do is like, subscribe, comment down below, and make sure to hit that bell notification because that's where we announce all the winners. Another important note, I'm gonna be giving away all the secret rares I pull in this video to one like lucky free and if you want to double your chances of being that freak all you have to do is follow the codes throughout the video and make sure to include them in your comment down below i'm super pumped to get this started let me unwrap this and i'll see you on the other side okay guys i have unwrapped the product now i have a total of 41 packs we have 15 tactical masters 20 darkwing blasts and 6 2022 10 of the pharaoh gods i'm gonna start off with the 10 then we're gonna go to tactical masters and finish off strong with dark Wing blast. You know what's funny, guys? I don't think I've opened up the tins since the last you and everything, and that was like two, three months ago since I opened the tins. That is absolutely crazy. Now, I want to get a pot of prosperity. Can we get it? We have an armed dragon thunder level 10 as our ultra, and we have small world as our prismatic secret. Not a bad one. I'm also looking for the blue eyes chicken. <laughs> it's kind of like a meme. You guys know that the Bandai blue eyes kind of, I don't know. It's not the Bandai blue eyes. It's like the manga blue eyes or something. Looks like a chicken. I do agree with that. We got the breaking ruined God as an ultra rare. That's pretty cool. Oh, the revised God. This is a good trap card for Slifer. There we go. And we have Albion the branded dragon as a prismatic secret. Not what we wanted, but it's a beautiful looking card. Come on guys, let's get that pot of prosperity. We start off with a super rare Flunderies and Empen. I love Flunder, I don't know why, but I do. We have Sunvine Crossbreed. Ooh, we have an ultra rare Heavenly Zephyr. You know what sucks about this? I don't think this hand trap ever did anything, right guys? Do you think it still has potential or is it forever bad? I don't know. We have a Synchro Overtake. And unfortunately we have a Prismatic Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. That's not helping reach our goal. Just one pot of prosperity would do so much to help us reach our goal, freaks. It's not even funny. We have Sun Avalon card, a book of lunar eclipse. Always love to see that art. We have a ultra rare DD assault carrier. I'm not sure if anybody uses this card. Tell me in the comments down below. We have a Dogmatica Genesis. Ooh, we have a prismatic secret rare tri brigade kit. Not what we wanted, but hey, I'll take it. I don't think I've ever been that good with the tins. I'm not like card breaker. This man always pulls fire in his tin openings. I wish I had that kind of luck for the tins, but unfortunately we do not have that same luck, but we do have a prismatic secret rare branded opening, not helping at all, but can't get mad at branded opening, right guys? We are down to our final pack of the Megatons, and guys, we haven't pulled anything yet. Like, that's so unfortunate. Uh, I don't think we made much headway toward meeting our goal, but we do have an ultra rare line of that's nice. And unfortunately, we got a prismatic secret rare ready fusion. Well, unfortunately, we didn't have much luck with the tins. Maybe Tactical Masters will bless us with the collector's rare. It's time for Tactical Masters. The tins didn't really help us, but hopefully we pull a Fire Collector's Rare. Hopefully, Droll and Lockbird. That would be great. I need that for my collection. Let me get right into this. You know, I was thinking about going with more Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge, but... You guys seem to love Tactical Masters when I asked which Collector's Rare last video was good. So, hey, I went with Tactical Masters. This set has treated me very well throughout my channel, so hopefully it can keep treating us well so we can meet that threshold. Tactical Masters also made my top three collector rare sets. I just love it. 
The only thing about Tactical Masters I do not really enjoy are the Valence cards. They have great art though. I much prefer the Runic and the Labyrinth cards. That's what I'm looking for. Like, I'm not saying Valence is like complete trash. Ooh, we got a rare Drone Lockbird. That is awesome. But, you know, it's just not my cup of tea. Ooh, we start off with another Droll and Lockbird. You love to see that right there. I love that all day. We got a Runic a Golden Droplet. Like, I know it's just a rare, but still, seeing that card is so freaking awesome. We have a Runic Freezing Curses. All right, we haven't hit anything necessarily fire, but I'm holding out hope. All right, let's see what we can get. Wow, I'm hitting it big with these rare Droll and Lockbirds. We have a Runic Golden Droplet. Bro, I think we pulled a play set of Droll and Lockbirds. Even though I haven't pulled anything fire, I do love that right there. We have Runic Destruction. Haven't even hit an Ultra Rare yet. That's pretty weird. We have an Archfiend's Ghastly Glitch. Apart from the Drolls, guys, we haven't pulled absolutely nothing. We're getting a bunch of Super Rare Runic cards. Please don't tell me I'm about to strike out with Tactical Masters. Oh my God. We have a Labyrinth Barrage. All right, can we get some last pack magic for Tactical Masters? And unfortunately, we only end with a Labyrinth Labyrinth. Okay, so unfortunately, we are zero for zero because we hit zero in the tins and we hit zero in Tactical Masters. Hopefully, Darkwing Blast has so many great hits that we can get to that 200 mark because freaks, to be quite frank with you, it's looking grim. Let's find out if Darkwing Blast can save us. All right, we start off with In Full Bloom, Omen of the Goatee, Castira Preparations, Tear Element Scream, and we have a Donner Dagger for Hire. I can't lie, guys, I am getting a little bit nervous because we haven't pulled anything good right now, and it's not looking good. We have Goatee Fury. Honestly, guys, we need, like, all the luck in the world because unless we pull a Starlight, I don't think it's looking good for us. We have a Branded Super Rare Beast. I'm going to have to pull like three Fenrirs, guys. Oh my God. Three Fenrirs. Why? Why? We always like, everyone always pulls this card. The Insect Ninja. And this one has kind of like a misprint. You guys see that right there? Yeah. Yeah. It has like a misprint at, at the top. But like, why? Why is this so overprinted? We do not want you the Insect Ninja. I got no love for Mitsu. I'm going to be honest with you guys. No love for Mitsu. Ooh, we have an ultra rare black wing salt dragon. Not the ultra rare I want to see, but unlike Mitsu, I actually don't mind seeing this card. Like even a Mitsu starlight rare, I don't think I'd be that hyped for. I'm going to be honest with you guys. What in the world? Yo, what is happening? Freaks, do you remember that last time we also pulled like double for doubles? Like literally that's happened all the time. And they're usually not with the best ultra rares. Come on, Fenrir. Come on, man. I need you, bro. I need you. Oh, we have Blazing Cartesia, the Virtuous. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now I can complete. Well, I'm actually going to give this away because I'm going to give away all the secrets. But hey, at least it works for our uh, meter, right? I think this is like a $20 card, right? Hey, I'll take that. To be honest, I wouldn't mind pulling four more of that card because we need it badly. And I mean very badly. We have Vera, the goddess. You know, this card actually looks pretty cool, guys. I don't think it's that expensive at all, but hey, pretty cool looking. All right, come on, Fenrir. You have to help save us. Come on, Fenrir. Listen, I'm pulling a lot of ultras, but just like last video, guys, it's been nothing but bad ultras and secrets. We have Majesty Pegasus, the Draco Slayer. I think we're halfway through, guys, and I haven't seen anything promising, really. Uh, we have the cool duck, Pokemon duck. Let's go. I think I might start sweating bullets, guys, because we're not doing that well. We have Shade of the Goatee. I haven't been keeping track of the amounts in my head, but I'm assuming we haven't even cracked, like, the $40 mark. Oh, my God. Ninja cards, I wish I can banish you to the Shadow Realm. It's official. Fleek Freak is going to go to war with the ninja cars because we do. Oh, my God. Yo, <laughs> you, you can't make this up, bro. You can't make this up. Wait, let, let me see. L look at that, bro. And they come up messed up, too. Bro, I hate ninja cars, bro. I I'm banishing y'all to the shadow room. We're going to have to call Bakura and, and get his uh, ghouls to do their work. All right, we got Shade of the Goatee. Not much left, guys. Not much left left i haven't seen anything we have tears in the hidden city are right, we got pet liger soul scissors amazon a spiritualist cashier a preparate what yo yo all right it's not looking good guys it's not looking good at all i don't think there's anything that could save us at this point 
GameStop, you have been absolutely tragic. Tragic. All right, we have another Donner Dagger for Hire. At this point, only a Starlight can save us. Only a Starlight can save us from imminent doom. All right, we have a Spellbound Secret Rare. Not bad. Uh, this is going to go to one of you guys, along with Blazing Cartesia. All right, can we get last pack magic with this? Only a starlight can save us, guys. That's about it. Only a starlight can save us. And we got branded regained. All right, unfortunately, we took the L today, guys. But we'll be back next time. And you know we're going to be a lot stronger.